we are. We're buying a puppy. <laughs> We sort of did a thing today. <laughs> Meet Mochi, our oh. new Mochi. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I just wanna announce that we have a puppy, obviously by the name of the title. We got a puppy because the soonest we were gonna get a puppy was this upcoming Christmas. Slayton woke up last Saturday and was like, I want a puppy. And I was like, well, yeah, like I want a puppy too. And then he started looking for puppies, so then I started looking for puppies, and we're like, you know what, just for fun, let's go to like animal shelters and pet stores, and let's just look at puppies and just get a feel for what we want. And then, <laughs> literally the first store we went into, and the first puppy we saw, we bought. <laughs> We fell in love with him. We named him Mochi. That's been the name that we wanted to name our dog since we started talking about getting a dog. Mochi, if you don't know what that is, it's like a Japanese ice cream. It's like the ice cream ball like wrapped in this rice dough, I believe. <laughs> they taste great. They have different flavors too, like mango, strawberry, green tea, coffee, chocolate vanilla, cookies and cream. Clayton lived in Japan for four years and he just loves Japan so much and I really wanna go. That is the name of our dog, Mochi, and that's the story behind it. Just a little update, we had COVID. I had it in 2020. I'm an OG COVID person. I had it in October of 2020, my senior year of high school. That was fun. My husband, he, Claims that he hasn't gotten it yet. And then, so I think this is his first time getting it and it like, it wiped him out. Like he is still recovering. He's still trying to get his energy levels back up. I knew, I knew he had some sort of virus because he had a headache, he had a fever and um, he could not get up. Like he could not get out of bed. He laid on the couch for like two days straight and that is not not like him at all like i wasn't gonna avoid him i wanted to take care of him so only naturally i got sick too so the myth of like if you've had covid you're not gonna get it again that's a lie <laughs> um i had it in 2020 and i had it again i got sick right when he kind of started feeling better i like it hit me like a wall um super bad headache i got a fever in the the COVID headache, if, you have a, if you've had COVID, the COVID headache is like no other. It sucks because it's like your whole head. And whenever you stand up, it like stings at the top of your head. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad it's over. And then like your teeth start hurting in your bones. Like the first time I got COVID, my teeth really hurt. This time they didn't hurt as bad. It was more just like it started like moving down my arm and like my arm, like my forearms would just start hurting and aching and then my knees started aching and my um, hips and my lower back. Ugh. Oh, job update. So if you haven't watched the last video about the RV, living in an RV, and I kind of gave a full life update about our jobs, about our living situation and everything, um, so if you haven't watched that, go watch it because this will make a lot more sense what I'm saying. Um, I quit my job. Uh, I think in the last video I did mention that Clayton was going to quit that day and he did. And so he's working at the stone yard now um, and doing all kinds of stuff there and he's really loving it. I stayed there for another week at this other job that we worked out together. And I finished out the week because I was planning a company barbecue for this company. And so the company barbecue was my last day. And a lot of people were like, wait, it's your last day? Because I, I didn't like want to talk about it because it sucked like leaving all these people and people were giving me hugs. I was driving home and I don't cry a lot. Almost it's like something that really pulls the heartstrings. 
obviously this one did because I was driving home from the barbecue. This random song came on. It was just like, like talking about how, you know, never forget the people who like make you who you are and like leave an imprint on your heart and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> because working at this job, it like made me believe in myself more that I'm like capable of doing a lot. So was, I started like tearing up in the car and it was really weird. I left that job and now, so I had the opportunity to work with Clayton at the stone yard, but he, he's been working there and he was like, you know, like come check it out. But he doesn't, he didn't know if I was going to like it. So I went and checked it out and mm, not for me. <laughs> I, I mean, I still have the opportunity to just go there and make money whenever I want, which I'll probably do that on like days that I have nothing to do. I am now full time working for the lady that runs this B&B. She has like 12 rentals in the next town. She has other things that she does, plus the Airbnb here. I've just been helping her get rooms ready and then just like the upkeep of the house here and it's been pretty fun each day i have a list and i can work as many hours as i want because she has like this endless list of things that just need to get done i found in the back of the cabinet i found um instant potatoes in a can which i had never seen before instant potatoes come in like like bags like packets now but a can of like instant potatoes and it had an expiration date of 1999. <laughs> it was in the very back corner of this cabinet. But yeah, that's why she's having me deep clean cabinets like slowly throughout the summer. But yeah, it's been fun. I, I thought about making some videos of like time lapse of me um, cleaning the cabinets because I feel like I love watching those kind of videos uh, for like cleaning inspiration. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm basically like a cleaning lady. I'm really enjoying it and I love helping her out because she does so much for us and for everybody that comes through the Airbnb. Hi. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're so sweet. Come here. I got you a surprise. You got me a surprise? Can you guess what it is? Wait, why did you get me a surprise? Because I love you. Because it's our one year of matching on a, <laughs> <laughs> that too. a dating website. <laughs> it's the first time we met virtually, so. July 1st. What's your, what is your surprise? Do you uh, know what it is? Is it a drink? No. Oh, is it chips? No. Oh. <laughs> is it for mochi? That's for you <laughs> and um, me. Is it food? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, it's cold. It's cold? Is it ice cream? No, close. Mochi? No. Is it mochi ice cream? No, it's... <laughs> oh, I see it! That's what you were eating on the way in! <laughs> Ouch, Sean. Yay! I got mango. Mango? Yeah, it's pretty good. I love you. Love you too. Okay. Hi, babe. Hello. 